Hi Explorers, welcome back to another video and also welcome back to our channel. I really appreciate it if you like, comment, share and hit the subscribe button. Hi Explorers, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be transforming this bathroom mirror that you're looking at. My motivation for this project came from seeing these black spots at the bottom part of the mirror right here. At some point in time, some mirrors start to develop these dark spots, especially around the edges. Now, I learned that this process is called desilvering, which just means that the coating at the back of the mirror is lifting or stripping. And so if this continues, the dark spots will continue to spread. Now, for those of you who can relate to those dark spots that I'm talking about, you would have realized that this mainly happens to your bathroom mirror. This is normally because of the continuous exposure to water or moisture. In today's video, I'm going to be putting a border around this mirror to cover up those dark spots and also just to uplift the tone of this bathroom. Now, the bathroom for me is one of the most private and relaxing spaces in my entire house. The place where I can have some alone time and just relax and think about life. To add to that, when you want to sing your favorite song and sound magically good, definitely the place to be. With all being said, this is why I take pride in making the space comfortable, relaxing, and especially appealing. For this DIY bathroom mirror upgrade, I'm going to be using two pool noodles. I've already measured them to see what lengths I'll be needed to go along the edges of the mirror. Now I'm going to be cutting each of these in half and then I'm going to be spray painting these pieces in a bronze color. There are many different materials out there that you could use to border your mirror. I am using pool noodles because they are very cost effective, very lightweight, and they can withstand the water. Once you are using a very sharp knife, it will make cutting these pool noodles a very easy process. This is the color that I was telling you about. I'm going to use this color since I already had this color going in my bathroom. If you missed that video, please go ahead and check it out as soon as you get some time. So the design that I have in my mind involves me using melted glue stick in a circular pattern. To make these successfully, I am going to be adding some water to this side plate then I will squeeze hot glue onto the water in a circular pattern. This will help it to cool quickly and also not stick to the plate. So remember you can also explore other options that you could use to decorate your pool noodle. Thank you. 
Now after making several batches of these, I'm going to be gluing them together in groups of four. Now I'm going to be spray painting these gold on both sides. Pool noodles are in bronze, they are dry and ready for the next step. So now I'm going to be gluing on these patterns onto the pool noodle. So this part takes some time and patience as you don't want to use too much hot glue as it will start melting the pool noodle. Make sure that you hold these down for about 20 seconds so that they dry properly and start taking the shape of the noodle. Now there are other glue out there that you can use to do the same trick but I didn't have any other glue, I used what I had and so you can put in the comment section below if you have other things that you think you could use or other designs that you think you could go with. All right, here it is guys. After gluing them on, I decided to spray another coat of gold over the patterns just to cover up any glue that might have been showing. At this point, I'm going to be adding another detail. I'm thinking about these small vase fillers or I'm also thinking about adding these larger ones. So I gave into these larger ones. I think they will complement the design a little bit better than the smaller ones. Let me know what you think. Now these vase fillers, as the name suggests, are used to fill vases, but they're very beautiful and you can use them for whatever you want them to do. These ones have a pointy side and I'm going to be making small holes into the pool noodle to fit them into. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the holes. Again, do not use a lot of glue. It will melt a huge hole into your pool noodles. This is what it looks like after putting in all the vase fillers. I did not put vase fillers in all the patterns because I think it would probably be a little bit too much. This is a close-up view of the dark spots that I've been showing you right here on the mirror. Now that it is time to mount these on the mirror, this is the mounting tape that I'm going to be using. I'm going with mounting tape as I wanted it to stay renter friendly. I needed something that was pretty easy to remove from the mirror for whatever reason I might have to take these down. This mounting tape is double sided which means it is sticky on both sides and is usually easy to remove from the mirror. Also I like that it comes with a lot on the roll for the price so that I can easily replace them if I need to. So now I'm just sticking them on the back probably about four or five inches apart on both sides. These are called washi tape. I'm going to be using them to put an inner border on the mirror right where the pool noodle will stop. This will prevent you from seeing the reflection from the mirror showing the tape underneath the pool noodle. 
so almost done i'm just adding the two last pieces to the sides and then i'm going to show you the final look So, the moment we've been waiting for. This is the final product. I liked how it came out. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So, if you did not get a chance to check out this video on how to recycle bottles to make DIY glam bathroom vanity decor, please do that ASAP as soon as possible. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on the amazing upcoming videos. Also, click the thumbs up button and turn your notifications on. And best of all, sharing is caring. So share, 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 and share these videos with the people you know. As always, thank you so much for exploring with me today. I will see you in the next video. Bye.